Hello guys, Wuhu here, back with another video. This time around we are guiding you through, or I'm guiding you through, but we are doing the Bun Fest, so the Easter event, Bun Fest 2021. And it's a little one, it's only six steps, but it's, it's pretty cool, you know, we almost just had an event and now we're gonna have another event. And with these events, of course, it's gonna last 14 days, as you can see right here. So probably also saw in, in the thumbnail, but it is for 14 days days and uh yeah with the 14 days it also comes the uh you know the small uh, mini daily adventures you can call it like that and i will of course put a picture right up here so you guys can oh you can see my finger <laughs> right up here where you guys can see uh the 14 days what you're gonna do your different days and as always make sure you check out you know saturdays where you can uh get some more uh some those xp potions which is super awesome but you know 10 cash chest is not bad either uh just for collecting one ore it doesn't have to be any specific ore just like one ore and you can even get them from uh, pinatas if you just want to throw down a pinata and you get randomly get ore out of that that works as well so but yeah candoria gather one ore there you go that's done for today but uh yeah enough rambling you uh, know what this deal is with the whole thing and with that said, of course, you also have to be uh, Mastery 10 to even see the event going on. Uh, so if you're not 10 yet uh, on the Mastery, you're not going to see this here. But as soon as you do that, it's going to pop up for you in these 14 days. Anyways, that was just a little side note. Let's get into step number one. All right, so step number one is pretty simple. All you have to do is go to the hub. As you can see also right over here, Cubely got a nice amazing her uh, hut a uh, nice egg shaped hut here over here so as you spawn in you know in your uh, in the hub all you have to do is go to the left and here also it is the event place and this is where it all goes down this is decorated with different eggs and stuff like that and there's also a few daily quests which we probably have to do later on there's also the station which we're also going to use but all you have to do to complete step number one you just have to interact with cubely you just have to use your interact button uh, for me it's e so all you have to do is just talk to him and you can see there is the bun uh, fed which is uh, some extra magic i believe it's extra magic fine and stuff like that we probably have to uh, do so but that's step number one all you have to do that and that's going to take you through like i said step number one and we can head into step number two all right we are now on step number two step number one is pretty easy we are actually in the right uh, same place as we were before uh, in the hub here and all you have to do is do one of these three daily quests i'm not sure that they change from day to day but uh, i know that these are at least the ones you are going to have but they reset every uh, single day so one of them is to find hidden eggs so i'm going to pick that one up so we can see then we are going to make a donation and also we have to defeat egg dungeons and egg dungeons probably something you have out in the world uh that okay i'm already on that one. Oh, it was just a little bit of slow that's fine that's fine let's go to our adventures it should be uh it I would be on the event yes it's right under here this is the quest we are on one is to defeat egg dungeons uh those eggs shadowy egg are going to hidden eggs uh you find the bases anywhere hidden and your top side medieval highlands kandoria and fey forest so these are the biomes that you have to find them so in your top side of course if you can go there or medieval highlands or uh, kandoria or the fey forest so as i said you can just go to kandoria there's plenty of kandoria here to defeat them uh, or the fey forest which is down here you can just go here if you want to you can of course also go to u9 if you want to do that you can also go do it all in in your top side which is really really nice uh, I think I did in, in last year, I did it in all in uh, in the tier top side, but uh, you go to nine, but then you have to find the specific dungeon. So I'm probably just going to go here uh, to the Fey Forest and really quick and just find the, that completed so we can complete step number two. But you know what to do uh, with that. But that was the first. Then you got some self, some hidden eggs, which is all over the place. You can find them. I'll give you a hint. I'm in the f uh, fan of fairies. So basically, these are going to be uh, all over the place, also around in the different biomes and stuff like that, as you are going around doing this anyways. So it's, it has some synergy, these two. Only have to defeat uh, three of these dungeons, the egg dungeons. They look specific and they are like shaped like big eggs, as we had from 
last time. I'm pretty sure we're also going to do one of the steps, but we'll have to see. Uh, and then, of course, you can make a donation and you do that over in the uh, the station here. And I think it must be down here somewhere. Uh, can't really see. Oh, there, there, there it is. <laughs> yes. So when you defeat the chocolate egg dungeons uh, out in the world, you get this bonfire chocolate and you donate this to the guy and then you complete this. So you have to do at least dungeons. So it's a very good idea to pick up the dungeons. And when you get enough, uh, if you go to your, uh, of course, your inventory, it's going to be up here above the your flux and fl stuff like this. It's going to be up here. So the first thing you see is going to be the event things. And when you have 50, you can go or yourself and uh, buy this. And these, uh, you need these bonfire tokens, which you also get this for. Um, so bonfire tokens, you need to... Well, this one you don't, you just need the refined chocolate, which is this one, when you take also the tokens and stuff like that. It's all in all in here, and then you got some recipes that we should uh, probably get <laughs> over time, but this is, yeah, and this is this is the new thing we're gonna have to do. Uh, yeah, yeah, this I also gotta do this time. But anyways, now step number two, just do one of these. I'm gonna go real quick and do one of these daily quests, and I'll be back with you guys at step number three. All right, guys, I just want to show you what these dungeons look like before we head into step number three. It just looks like these big eggs. And I'm in Candoria, uh, as you can see. Uh, I'm in one of the big biomes. I also will include right here, I will include on the screen, I will include a, a picture of the um, of the of what the eggs look like. The small eggs, the one you have to find the hidden eggs. But yeah, you just have to run this one to get the dungeons done and collect some more... Uh, chocolate and they uh, are basically all the very much the same and there you go and you defeat uh, the egg there is just like the chest we have in the end and as you can see i also got myself some uh some chocolate i got 16 chocolate which is really awesome and then you can go in here you can see i have 18 chocolate now because i've uh, destroyed a few of the smaller eggs at uh, the hidden ones and those also those also give you chocolate. So just wanted to include this before we head into step number three so you guys could see it, but let's head to that number three now. All right, guys, so for step number three, we have to craft Spirit of a Bonfest. And you do that back in the hub. Uh, you have to get yourself some stuff. Well, I'll explain that when we are uh, in this uh, crafting station here. So in the crafting station next to Cubesley, uh, you can see it's right here, the Spirit of uh, Bon. Fest, and you need some of that, uh, more of that chocolate as we needed before to do the donation for the quest. So, uh, also you need the tokens, so I'm going to claim it from the inventory, that's from doing the daily ones. So we have three, because we did three, and you used to need one. Then we need some fey dust, this you can get in the fey biome by defeating enemies, or uh, from the dungeons themselves, or you can just get it off the marketplace. The queen's trumpets gets from delve, as you can see, it's from tier four and five in the moon glow grotto, but you can also get this off the marketplace if you want to do so. You only need one, uh, so make sure that this is what you need, this is not what, this is what I have, right? You don't need 2,000 of them, you just need one, so it's not that expensive to just make one of these. So so this we have to craft it, and um, we need the, uh, the, the thing to be crafted. So let's do that, and we should be done with step number three. Pretty simple, very easy, not too much with it. So with that step number three out of the way, we can head into step number four. All right, so for step number four, we have to craft the Bunfest ga uh, bun Gateway. And this is where we left off right before. And on the opposite, completely opposite, uh, opposite side of it, also still in the hub, we have the Delve uh, workbench and also the work hub, basically. So in there, there is the workbench over there. And on this side, both sides, you just have to open up. And the very first thing is the Bunfest gateway so it's going to acquire the thing that we crafted before one of these and then some inner geode if you don't have any inner geode you can go right here just sign up for the public one go through one or if you have some lying around you can sketch yourself you just need 20 of the inner geode to get so so i'm going to go ahead and craft this one and that's going to complete step number four and we can head already into step number five easy peasy lemon squeezy number five come out all right, so for step number five, we have to recover our uh, Botania standard, I think it's called. And all we have to do is place down the gateway and go through the Delve-inspired uh, Buntobia place. Uh, I haven't done it before, so I don't know how it works, but I'm pretty sure it's based off your power rank. So I'm going to take my lowest power rank, which is my Tomb Razor. 
Uh, and I'm gonna go in with that one and basically change over that. I don't know if it's in here, it is. All right, so let's move this away and we're gonna just place it down as we have a normal delve. There we go. And you can of course do this with multiple people if you want to do so. Uh, I can see the depth is 112, so yeah, it is based on that. So I'm gonna go in, I'm just gonna queue up, do it myself, see if I uh, am strong enough. It says I can do it, so I believe in Cubesly when he says uh, he has the confidence to uh, do so. I don't know how long this is gonna take. Maybe I'll speed some of the stuff up, but we'll see how it goes. We have to defeat the boss to uh, uh, you know, get the standard. So I'm gonna switch to my best character here and it's not going to switch uh, from this depth at all. So you can do that little trick if you want to do so. I hope it's not bugged. Sometimes these can be bugged. I will link in the description or put it on the screen if it's bugged. If you see nothing, that means that there was nothing wrong, but it has happened before that this uh, you know, uh, has been, can be bugged. So let's go through this. Yeah, so I'm just gonna speed this up because this is gonna, I have to defeat 110 enemies, which is, uh, you know, not greatest with uh, some common enemies, just defeating enemies. I think, uh, I think you guys can bear with me if I skip uh, or speed ahead to uh, the boss. So I'll gotta see you guys when we get there in a minute. Alright guys, we are now at the boss and I gotta say these enemies that were this in here was a refreshing new sight. So well done to the devs. I loved the egg ones and how they opened up and died and everything. That was amazing. So thank you. That was a great experience actually going through it. So here we are at the boss as I said, I really, really hope that it is not bugged, but it can be. Uh, sometimes these bosses doesn't drop it, but let's see. We're gonna at least uh, defeat it and I uh, hope so. There we go. There's the guy. And of course, I also want to say you can, of course, keep on the depth, go, keep going. And there we go. And uh, all right, so now the uh, this one is uh, here, so it's not bugged. That's really great. I'm loving that. And also, there's a lot of chocolate right on the ground there. But all you have to do is go up to it, the stolen one, and you, it doesn't go automatically into your inventory. You have to go up to it and uh, click recover. If you forget to do this, uh, you have to do it all over again, uh, basically. So I'm gonna recover it by hitting my E button right there. And as you can see, that completes step number five, and we can go into step number six. All right, so for step number six, kind of we have to go back to the hub and return the standard to Cubesly. I think it's uh, one of the better events we've had, actually, even though it's very small, I think the additions were great. So all you have to do is go up to Cubesly, hit the, uh, him and it also you can now also of course buy more of these here uh, bun uh, bun fe feet sorry and uh, like i said this is some extra magic find and stuff like that but that completes you step number six and that's the whole event and as i said i think this is a great little fun event um uh, we just came off of like a kind of a, a very great event and this is kind of also just a great it's smaller but all, equally great with the addition that they did to the different things so kudos to the devs i definitely like this one for sure i hope you guys do as well and i hope you found the guide helpful thank you again so much for watching and i will see you in the next one have a great one bye